we left without taking anything with us. Like Jesus Christ, we are flows to flee. Welcoming, protecting, promoting and integrating internally displaced persons is a mantra of our Pope Francis. Pope Francis in his pastoral orientations on internally displaced people on in Vatican City, 5th May 2020. He was talking on, so the, the, the forum has to reach. So now here, our Pope Francis is calling all, all the pastors. He's asking us to respond to this migrant issue, migration issue. And it's a really a, a call, clarion call for every, all the parishes. So now here I am coming to this. With all this understanding, a parish piece has to reach out. And it's a missionary call. A parish piece has to, has to create a forum. A parish piece has to attend to the issues of the location specific of the population nearby. Okay. Now, there are two things I would like to address to you. One is interstate people, interstate laborers move out of the parishes from a parish. If there are example, there are 200 Catholics, or 200 families are there. 100 families are working in the nearby states. For example, in Tamil Nadu, take for a parish piece in Villapuram, a parish. A Villapuram, there is a parish. I'm just saying the number for an example, but the parish is real. A Villapuram, there is a parish. And uh, our own people in the parishes, 100 to, out of 200, 100 families are going, going to Kerala, going to Karnataka, going to Maharashtra, they are working. But a whole other families are, only adults are moving out. Sometimes the families are out. So interstate uh, laborers, interstate migration happening within the, for own, our own Tamilians, very important, our own people are moving out to the cities, nearby cities for, for livelihood. So a parish priest has to, it's a responsibility of the parish priest to attend to the uh, sacramental needs of all these people, also to the societal needs and the personal needs of the uh, parish people. This is intrastate, within the state itself. Okay. I would like to give another uh, example. For example, interstate parishes. For example, Orissa, from people from Orissa coming to uh, Tamil Nadu for brick chambers. They are seasonal. They come in month of December and they go out of the month of June. You know what's happening? From our own, from the other state, our own Catholics are coming to uh, Tamil Nadu for their livelihood. Thus, the parish piece, same, same, same responsibility lies like that, I said. The parish piece, local parish piece in Tamil Nadu, where they go to Bombay, Kerala and Karnataka, he has, a, he has a liability to do that, responsibility. Same also, the parish priest in Orissa, if their people are moving out to Tamil Nadu, does he not have the responsibility? The same responsibility like if they come to Tamil Nadu, how to address a sacrament? I would like to post a question here. Is that our religious sacraments or sacramental or sense of God or worship, work, worship and prayer only limited to, to those people who are just remaining in our parishes? The days are gone. People are moving. People are moving to their own livelihood. So, naturally, the responsibility of the parish priest also is increasing. Increasing. Not only the, the parish, parish priest responsibility doesn't just situation with a, a geographical territory of a place. It goes to different, different places. For example, I told you, Karnataka, Kerala. For an example, uh, a parish in uh, Tiruvannamalai district, a Virulur parish. They, parish priest of that village, they conducted youth meeting in Chennai because all the youngsters are working in Chennai. See, that's a, that's a creativity of the parish priest. The parish is moving, not only there. Now, the very difficult thing is that there is no more substations now. Very difficult to find our own priests moving towards substations, offering daily masses, only even Christmas masses. Now, Pope Francis is asking us to reach out, not even to our own substations and main stations. He is asking us to also to move where the people are going. 
that that is we are that is a response we are asking and that's a real responsibility so understand all this with this people movement can we not follow the sheep a shepherd has to be where the shepherd, where the sheep are so let us let us concentrate on our own migrants wherever they are there or i don't want only the parish ministers to be going all, all everywhere that's why we said we create a parish ministers to create a forum and the forum there are there are in tamil nadu itself there are uh, military people who have been uh, closed out of uh, uh, who have retired who know hindi and all no? we can make use of this these people to go and to do some prayer and worship and connect with the parish priest there so with this i would like to extend some of the services some expand some experiments i have uh, under, undertaken i am not a parish priest personally but i have uh, made other parish priests in wherever we are working in tamil nadu we refer them and they indirectly took part in this uh, uh, experimentation for example the first one is i i would like to get back into our old model of creating catechists in the north and all people were creating uh, catechists because there are far places where uh, we have to walk kilometers and uh, uh, priests cannot go so the they were creating uh, catechists to 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 do all this uh, prayer and worship why don't we do this the other denominations except uh, roman catholic people other denominations are doing this for example uh, 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 in oymr old magabalipuram road next to our uh, sholingnalur parish there is a there is a small pocket of telugu people uh, from andhra they are there but there is a church there small church people from andhra uh, a pastor in that place when the people were moving they they along with the people they are also sending their pastors to the tamil nadu to that uh, sholingnalur place so their prayer and worship a sense of god and then uh, their own belief system and their own um, trust in god is uh, is assured by their own pastors so th- this is very important why don't we bring we don't we can create catechists why don't we send them along with the people wherever they are first we need to identify map and then send them. for this we need to network for example assam people have to network other destination places source and destination people need to need to network the second one i would like to trust here is mobile parishes for interstate yes, or intrastate uh, migrants within tamil nadu itself or within assam itself or within bihar itself or within calcutta itself west bengal itself uh, or within uh, odisha mobile parishes like if we go for substation those days people the missionaries go to bullock cart once in a month they will go and they will stay in the substation next month another substation third month another substation then they will come back almost 23 to 23 to 30 substations now no more there is only one station but now can we can we move wherever the parish priest goes there the parish is there. for example i am saying my our parish in vilapuram the parish priest can go to karnataka where the there is own people are there for a month or week or two days or three days then he goes to other place then he goes to kerala then he goes to chennai then he goes to karnataka so it can be a mobile parish within tamil nadu because people are moving to the cities because these people are their own their own they belong to that parish the second one is connecting to the parish to the parish what i would suggest is parish to parish for example from assam one group 200 people are coming from assam from one parish and they are coming to sri parambudha parish in tamil nadu why the parish priest can have a link with this parish priest this uh, uh, tamil nadu parish priest. they need to have a network and uh, the parish priest can give all the details of the assam parish priest can give the details of these people and they can hand it over to the sri parambudur parish priest in tamil nadu so sri parambudur parish priest will take care of the group and do accordingly everything and after the work he can pass it uh, the whole thing to the assam parish priest this is the networking of parishes and uh, uh, the third suggestion is multilingual parishes 
we have come to this extent now not because you know, people are fighting my religion my language i am not entering to that this poor people there are for example jharkhand people in there for example bengali people in there odia people in there they are slogging they are living in the gutters in the decimation states if you in paris peace will understand they will come and just stand at the in the, in the last row outside the church for sunday's mass we need to identify we need to identify after the mass immediately keep somebody to track them make them sit i welcome them uh, listen to them talk to them where they are coming and ask somebody to go and see also their houses their places the where they also work in that way you slowly form a group and start in the week days uh, a mass if you don't know the language ask there are people in tamil nadu chennai itself there are a lot of people priests who know a lot of languages because other people are other priests are studying here in the colleges there are in the university is there and they are working here so call those people and do them prepare a directory for orissa who is a parish priest uh, a priest for bengali for like that but in a small way don't make it a big way it becomes a big uh, uh, at the end it becomes a big problem small way how can we do in the parish that's called i i like to do, do this is in a multilingual uh, churches parishes and um, praise and worship within the labor sites a parish priest or the forum i told you or those people retired people who know hindi retired people uh, teachers who know hindi can walk to a team can walk on sundays to the labor site nearby constructions mega constructions are taking place in certain parishes in certain sites industrial estates why don't we walk on sundays evenings just go or in the weekdays weekdays means very difficult they will be working sundays will be a very nice day but i don't know whether parish priest will be free on the day but if we can make that day for that available it will be very nice we move towards them and understand and there will be also take along with sisters also who knows hindi who know people lay people they ask the people to go and pray over them. there are christians there are catholics uh, why don't we there are hindus just give hope to them just give a strong confidence to them that we are here anything happens we are here that kind of a sense of uh, belonging should be given to the people the other suggestion i would also say not only the lay people also the deacons and the brothers who are coming for saturday sundays uh, weekend ministries not only they should concentrate on the parish send them send them send them i told you, you know you are having a forum for different different problem different issues uh, send them to the nearby jails nearby uh, juvenile homes nearby uh, home uh, elderly old old age people home or send them near to the migrant sites like that send them and you go once in a while to them let them get the data work along with them and start a program go slowly create a parish which can reach out to everybody all these people and um, for example emergencies disaster for example this uh, uh, cyclone happen continuously raining these days migrants will have no place only the only the tin sheets in especially in coimbatore bus stand street there is a metro is kind of uh, constructing a, a bridge people children people families live in a tin sheets all everything is in water and they cannot cook because they have to cook in uh, firewood fire will not be there and they also cold they have to go under the bridge and sleep why don't we offer our own churches those days um, places for you know our own campuses to to those people who are nearby not for people who are again they will fight and you know these people don't ask for anything after this they will go back why don't we avail uh, why don't we provide them anything tell our parish people to contribute something to them to give a food or to give a dress or to give a, a ration rice you know they are buying 10 rupees per ration rice outside why don't we ask a paper parish priest can ask during the sermon or at the end of the mass to offer whoever not receiving sugar kerosene kerosene is 85 per liter uh, to the this kind of people outside people let us reach beyond 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 our uh, 
uh, borders. This is what uh, Pope Francis also insisting. And uh, <clears throat> another important is all the parishes or parish priests are sometimes also uh, correspondents. There will be a school attached to the parish. The parish priest with his knowledge received from the forum of these children, especially migrant children, can them put inside our schools? Can we put inside our schools? Can we offer our own places for study centers, special coaching centers for the evening for these children? With all the other works, shall we reach also to this vulnerable people, the most needy people? And uh, conducting medical camps, you go take a call to all the medical, all serve in St. Paul, ask your sodalities, not only conduct again and again to our own parishes. The, the services should reach to out, out. That's what gospel also says. Not only to us, all the services. Our services has to reach to others. Go ask your parish people to go. Conduct a site there. There is a construction site is going on. Uh, parish priests can go ask all the modalities. Ask the forum members to get the modalities of uh, permission and other things. Conduct a camp. They will be very happy. There will be women, children or in the uh, real gutter and dust. In that cement and you know it will be a great help and uh, at the last uh, suggest service can be skill training skill training our own all these migrant women are just in the tin sheets only the men are going and working they are just inside there are pregnant women there are just married those who are there why don't we call these women and give them some tailoring training or computer training whatever training you are having why don't you also include these people, whether they are Christians or Catholics, anything. In that way, our own parishes will also be strengthened and, uh, and the spirit will be there. And surely Jesus will bless us. This is actually in way we strengthen the families of our own parish, also strengthen the families of these vulnerable migrants. And this will be a great help. Once in a while, we can also call for a meeting, all these migrants, uh, like an NBM you know, meeting that can be. There are Christians, there are other tribals. Many tribals are here, Adivasi, in, especially in Chennai. So, why don't we work on it? In my experience, I am working with uh, only not all the parishes have migrant population in the destination states. Only few parishes will have. We need to identify. Parish priests have to identify whether there are migrants in my area. Not area means only not Catholic population. Or area. Parish priest is a king for that district. So let identify. We need to identify and then work on it. If, if there is, why don't we reach towards it? And that is a, a, a major a thrust and a, it's a responsibility for all the parish priests uh, to do this. And this is a pastoral challenge, which has been, Pope Francis has been demanding us. Again, I conclude with the same thing. Let us uh, welcome, uh, promote, and protect, and integrate. And he adds also another six more verbs. Let's know the migrants. Let's be close. Let's serve them. Let's listen to them. Let's share our things. Let's promote them. And at the end, Let's build communities. It's very important. A parish priest need to build his own community because he's only one. He need to build the community to serve others. And it's a call and it's our responsibility. It's also the signs of the times. And uh, moreover, it's Don Bosco's spirit to walk to these young migrants who have nobody, who have nobody to support, who are going astray. And they were not able to, even the earned money is not sent home. All this can be tracked with the help of this uh, uh, shepherd with the sheep. Thank you.